What's going on YouTube? It's Coco, and today we're going to be taking a look at a tier list of the mainline Pokemon games. So stick around and see if your favorite game was one of my favorite games or not. Welcome in everyone. Today we're going to be looking at uh, my personal, um, what I would consider my tier list for the main the mainline Pokemon games. Uh, I am going to say um, that there are some of these games that I've never played before, so I'm going to kind of take them out of the running and put them into NA just because I've never played them. I've never played particular versions of some of these games, but most of them I've, I've played. Um, so let me let me go ahead and just get those out of the way. Never played green. It was Japan only. Uh, I've, I've never gone out of my way to get a copy of that to try and, and see what that game's like. Uh, I'd still like to. I, I think it'd be interesting to see like the very first um, Pokemon game, but, but I've never gone and done that. The other two that I haven't played, I, I do have these, but I've never gotten, uh, you know, some time to play them, uh, are um, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So I'm going to put those aside. The other ones are Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I also never really touched those. Uh, the rest of these I've played. Um, some I enjoyed more than others. I'm also going to preface this by saying I'm in my 30s. I probably am more biased towards the older games, some of the original games a little bit. So if they end up higher on my tier list, that's probably why. Because uh, because a lot of them are like nostalgia, like for me, right? Um, you know, they're the ones, you know, I can remember the very first time you know, for Christmas getting some of these games. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to go kind of in chronological order here, um, if I can stay on, on, on pace, on track. Uh, let's start with Red and Blue. Red and Blue, um, these ones are the ones that, for me, near and dear to my heart, I remember, I mean, I probably was like, I don't know, maybe nine or ten and I remember getting Pokemon Red, and my brother got Pokemon Blue, um, and I remember just like opening the game up and being so excited, um, ripping the box in half, which as a collector now pains me to say. Um, but for me, red and blue, red and blue are what started and helped maintain and, and keep the love for Pokemon alive for years and decades to come. Red and blue for me will always be S plus. I mean, they're, they're just incredible games. Um, yeah, those are, those are going to be S plus for me. Pokemon Yellow, um, also very good. A lot of people grew up on it. Um, I, I still don't think it had like the kind of like the zing and the the like the lasting power like Red and Blue did. Everyone you know who who played Red and Blue always is super fond of of Red and Blue. Um, so I'll put Pokemon Yellow in in A tier. Uh, I do. Um, so we've got Pokemon, uh, gold and silver here. I like Gen 2 a lot. Uh, I thought the games were good. Uh, I loved the fact that you could complete the Johto region and go back to the Kanto region. Um, so I'm also going to put those in A tier. Um, I think those are, those are well done games. Um, the first one's officially on the Game Boy Color. So like the, I feel like the color scheme on those games they were built for the Game Boy Color, so we really started to get away from the from the greens and the grays, and we started to get into the real color, um, which kind of gave uh, Pokemon life, uh, you know, back then, and 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 just made us you know love it even more, and and made us think about like what we were seeing in the anime, right, like on on TV and stuff. Um, that being said, Crystal, um, I, I think Crystal probably goes A tier as well. Um, I think a lot of people put Crystal higher in like in higher regard, but I I mean I think it's A tier. I think it was a good game. Um Yeah, we'll leave it at that, honestly. Um Ruby and Sapphire. I wasn't a huge fan of this gen. Um one of the things that it, that I liked about Ruby and Sapphire was that um they brought in like the 2v2 battles, which was kind of cool. Um so I I'm going to put I'm going to put those into um into B tier. I did like them, but um, being the first games on the Advanced, I mean, uh, on the Game Boy Advance, I, I remember playing these quite a bit because I, I jumped from an original Game Boy, like a DMG, up to a Game Boy Advance. I actually didn't have a Game Boy Color in between. 
Um, I got things like a little bit late and, and things like that when I was a kid. Uh, but I will say, just because of uh, Rayquaza, I think <laughs> Emerald jumps up just a little bit uh, to A tier. Um, the next ones, though, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, I love these games. Um, they had the... Uh, these introduced, like, the wireless... Uh, I guess you could call it adapter or, or, or dongle, I guess, that you could put in. I believe this was... I believe it was to the SP if I'm not mistaken, to where you could do, uh, you didn't have to have the link cable, which was cool. Um, and, and of course, we're going back to like, you know, focusing on Gen 1 quite a bit. Um, I'm going to put Fire Red and Leaf Green in S tier. Definitely enjoyed those. Still is not as much nostalgia for me as like the originals, but again, we're, we're going up in like when I'm thinking about games that I like uh, and, and thinking about graphics and color and things like that, those are two games that I really enjoyed. Um, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum here, um, wasn't a huge fan of the games, uh, of these on the DS. I personally think that these are D tier. I'm not a huge fan of these, the gens. I'm not a big fan of the legendaries that were in these games. They did introduce, like, online battles and trading on these games, but still, I, I wasn't just, I just wasn't really into these games uh, as much as I was the other ones. So I, I probably, and, and also, because I was playing some of these games a little bit later, so like when I was playing Emerald and, and Sapphire, it was like Diamond and Pearl were already out. Um, so by the time I ended up getting to try Diamond and Pearl, there were like Heart Gold and Soul Silver came around, um, which speaking of which, Heart Gold and Soul Silver for me, um, I'm gonna put them in B tier. I like the idea of the Poke Walker. I think that's a cool idea. Nintendo was always looking to make these kind of little, um, you know, just these things to be different, right? They had a lot of like little, um, I don't want to say products, but like these little things that would make um, make the game interesting. And the Poke Walker was definitely cool. Um, I do like Ho Oh and uh, Lugia as the as the legendaries in those. Uh, I just think overall they were really good games. And yeah, they'll go they'll go B tier. Um, black and white and uh, black two and white two. I will admit, um, the the thing about black and white, if if I recall correctly, black and white only allow you, allowed you to play Gen five. It didn't allow you to go back to any other previous generations of Pokemon, which is kind of tough, right? Because like you've you've now been playing this game for years and years, or, or playing this series. Um, and you've fallen in love with certain Pokemon and, and you've, you've made your favorites and, and you want to, you know, you want to see them throughout these next generations of games. But, but if I'm not mistaken, black and white only allowed you to, um, to have gen five, which I mean, there were, there were some Pokemon in gen five that I enjoyed, but, but not nearly as many. Um, I'm putting, uh, Pokemon white and, uh, black and white. Uh, in F tier. I just wasn't a fan. Um, Black 2 and White 2, I think there was an improvement, uh, and I did actually enjoy playing those more than Diamond and Pearl, um, so I'm going to put those C tier here. Um, but now we're coming up to actually one of my favorite games, and this one might jump up on the list more than others. Although X and Y were really like easy games, like as far as difficulty is concerned, I grinded X and Y a lot on my 3DS, and it took a lot of my, um, like, I spent a lot of time, um, I just remember trying to hatch shinies and, and you know, thing, things of that matter on X and Y, um, and, and I thought the storyline was was decent, um, but for, for some reason, those really got me, like, like, really into Pokemon again, so, like, there was kind of this lull for me, and then when I got my 3DS and started playing X and Y, Really loved X and Y. So those go S tier for me very high. Um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I didn't play too much of. Um, when I did play it, though, I, I enjoyed it, but I was so glued to X and Y um, that I probably didn't give these a fair shot, to be honest. So these are probably going to go a little bit lower, um, maybe than than some other people's, um, on, than other people's lists here. But um, that's where I'm going to put them for now. Sun and Moon, I just, for me, it didn't feel like it was very new. I wasn't a fan of the legendaries. I, I, I really don't think many people like these legendaries. 
I feel like this game didn't have um, nearly as much like staying power um, as far as, um, you know, I didn't hear a lot about people continuing to play them as it went on. Um, so I'm, I'm putting them relative, I'm putting them pretty, I'm putting them at the bottom um, for me. They, they just weren't games. Like I, I think I played, I think I played Sun through the storyline and I, I didn't really like it. So I really didn't even touch Moon. I just got it for my collection and, and I, I've probably never even played um, Moon. Now we go on to the most recent games and, and the, you know, starting with the Switch uh, categories here. I actually really liked Let's Go Pikachu. Um, a lot of people hate on it. Um, so I'm putting Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee um, up in B tier. I thought they were enjoyable. I liked the idea um, of like, um, seeing if there were, like, if you're thinking of, like, shiny hunting, for example, that you could see the shinies in the overworld. Um, I did feel like the campaign, like, the story mode was rather quick. It didn't take too long to get through it, uh, and there wasn't much to do other than the, the shiny hunting. They, they tried where you had to, um, become, like, a master of each individual Pokemon and whatnot, but, uh, I feel like that was a bit of a stretch. Uh, Nintendo's first attempt on the Switch, good, um, but but definitely not as good uh, as it could have been. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, I actually really enjoy. I still play this game, uh, even though it's a couple years old now. I like the idea of like the big open world. I love the 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 not open world, but the the big open area in the middle there of the map. They had the DLC for it, which I enjoyed. Uh, they had the dens. Uh, which was cool. Um, again, having the Pokemon spawn like that in the overworld, very cool. Um, that for me is A tier. And um, for me, I've got my final one here. We've got Pokemon Legends Arceus. I actually really enjoyed Pokemon Arceus. I'm super surprised as of right now, this is August 4th, 2020. No DLC from what I've seen um, for Arceus, which is very surprising. I thought a lot of people liked they took a gamble on, on that game, and I thought it paid off, and yet they still didn't do any sort of DLC for it, which I'm really surprised. So for Arceus, I'm going to put that in S tier. Um, I really enjoyed it. I, I love the style of it. Um, I just feel like they could they could do more to have like some DLC, maybe add in some other Pokemon, some, something along those lines. Um, I hope they take that same style, which it looks like they're going to, and, and put that into Scarlet and Violet. Um, but but for me, here's my list. Um, I would love to hear what you guys think, you know, down in the comments. What do you agree with? What don't you agree with? What didn't I do justice? Uh, what do I need to revisit? I mean, maybe maybe it's been so long since I've played these games that I'm, I'm out of touch uh, and, and I'm not, you know, giving some of these games, you know, the praise that they deserve. Uh, or, or which ones am I putting too high up there? What, what do you guys think? I, I hope you... Uh, don't flame me down in the comments for for my list here, but you know this this is my list and I'm gonna stick to it. So let me know if there's uh, if there's anything that I missed, uh, or or if you want to see more of these tier tier list videos. But uh, for now, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you enjoy the content, anything and everything Pokemon related. Uh, and until next time, uh, we'll see you soon.